In 1998, Michael Hill was visiting his friend in Florida, when suddenly a madman ran up to him on the street and, for no reason at all stuck a knife in his naked body. Michael himself reached the house, right with the handle sticking out of his head, and only there, shocked by what he saw, a friend called an ambulance. Hill later said that he felt almost no pain in his head, although the CT scan showed that the knife penetrated the brain by about 20 centimeters. The only thing he noted was heat in the right eye. After four hours of surgery, Michael was already transported to the ward, and a few days later he was discharged. Ultimately, the guy's left arm was paralyzed, but the doctors say that he still got off lightly. In 2010, the network was bypassed by a photo of a man deprived of half of his head. There was a whole wave of discussion about the reality of the picture, which is quite understandable, because it really looks completely infernal. The photo turned out to be real. The guy on it is named Carlos Rodriguez, known among friends as the half. Rodriguez was in a terrible accident, flying through the windshield of a car. And, nevertheless, modern neurosurgery and neuroplastics were able to save a person. Phineas Gage is one of the first people on whom surgeons ventured to perform a full-fledged neurosurgical operation. Gorinye, a demolition man, was working at a Vermont mine in 1840 and did not calculate the burning time of the cord. The projectile exploded 20 meters from Phineas, catching a steel rod with an explosive wave. He pierced through the unfortunate man's head. Surgeons managed to pull out as many as 30 deformed fragments from the brain of Phineas. Six months later, Gage returned to normal life, although he suffered from frequent headaches. In January 2010, Paraguayan footballer Salvador Cabanas was shot in the head in the toilet of one of the Mexican clubs. His chances of survival were slim. But despite his critical condition, he survived and returned to form. The man who wanted to interrupt Cabana's career is called Jose Jorge Balderas. He was working on behalf of one of the drug lords. The only reminder of that event is the bullet that it is still in his head. Surgeons, out of fear for the health of the football player, decided not to eliminate it. 16-year-old Yasser Lopez from Miami while fishing near his home in Miami-Dade, Florida, accidentally shot himself in the head with a 92-centimeter spear. In June 2012, Yasser and his friend decided to go fishing, for which they brought the ill-fated gun for hunting fish. Yasser loaded the gun and decided to examine it again, and at that moment it fired. The 92-centimeter harpoon pierced the boy's head just two, five centimeters above his eye and exited through the back of his skull. The operation to extract the 92-centimeter harpoon lasted three hours and ended successfully. The doctors were very surprised by Yasser's rapid recovery. The scars on this boy's head will remain for the rest of his life, but this is a small price to pay for the fact that he survived.